five gallon bucket, everything you need to perform a recovery in the field. Put it together and we've got a solution for you that's gonna make your job easier and less frustrating. So if you're still one of these guys that use the Blue Rag 5000ZY as your recovery machine, I've got a solution for you that's a little bit heavier but just as convenient and way more professional. And it's blue. should be enough stuff Let's see what we can build with this I think we're about set to assemble this bucket. Now a quick note, this kit could easily be done in a two and a half gallon bucket if space is a uh, crucial detail for you. So if you want to be able to fit it in your actual shelving, it, like the you know typical Adrian steel shelves in your van, then I would go with the two and a half gallon bucket setup. The only reason I'm going to go ahead with this five gallon bucket is because while I don't have it now, I do plan to grow into this bucket and upgrade my recovery setup to also include its own set of half inch hoses. It's all up to what your needs and your desires are in your own rig. What I'm gonna do first is line the bottom of this bucket with just a thick pad of blue rags. Couple reasons for that. First of all, you can't have too many rags. Second of all, it's gonna help cushion our sub cooler, which I'm putting in next. And third, the reason I drilled these holes at the same height as the sub cooler is to act as overflows. So when I've got a hose run up to the roof to this thing, I'm not filling it up to the brim, five gallons of water. And you know, it's just a little less, a little easier to manage and it's, it's gonna help keep my sub cooler upright and from tipping over and, and totally submerging. So because of that, if I'm using this also as a sub cooling bucket, the pile of rags is gonna help me just wipe everything out when I'm done so I can put everything back in the bucket to transport back to the van. Okay, next on top of that, I'm gonna add a couple quarter inch ball valve hoses. You'll need at least one in your kit to run from the sub cooler to the recovery tank itself. I am gonna go ahead and throw a tank heater into this kit as well. It doesn't really matter if you decide to throw that into your recovery or your evacuation bucket, but either way, it's, it's a good thing to include. I am gonna slip this in just like in the evacuation bucket, but again, with the note and disclaimer that you absolutely should not be using these things if you don't know exactly what you're doing and test one, two, and three times verifying that you have the correct voltage before you hook up to these things. They can kill you and they will and they have. You may recall the large hardware kit that I included in the evacuation video. There's a ton of options you could do for this. So this is the container I use for the evacuation bucket. I went ahead and I picked this one up, a smaller version, to have in my recovery kit. But honestly, you could use something as simple as like one of these little veto pouches, any, any kind of nylon pouch. And frankly, I've made a decision mid-video here to scrap all of this. And I think I can fit my entire recovery kit into the bucket seat that I used in the other bucket kit. So I think I'm gonna fit all this in there and let's see how that turns out. So go ahead. Add some various sized service valve caps. I already put a little pile of trader cores there and I've got some extra hose gaskets and depressors in this cubby here. A solenoid magnet's an important component in this kit if you come across equipment that does utilize liquid line solenoids. And let's see how these fit. Okay, that's a perfect fit. So I've got my 5 16 core removal tools my quarter inch set. Go ahead and I'll throw in one of the Appian core removal tool rebuild kits just in case. I have a couple of these ball valves from Yellow Jacket and what I use these for is the one shot recovery cylinders that you can pick up at the supply house. These are tanks that they're one time they're supposed to be one time use. You you, you buy them 
they're only about the size of a 30 pound jug of 410 and um, you can recover refrigerant and they have ball valve or they have valves on both ends of the tank and once you close them off they seal they don't open again so it's designed to be used once and then mailed in the box back to the manufacturer and they recycle it for you that said i have used these on occasion where i just like to have the one shot tank to be able to recover an oddball refrigerant and put it right back into the person's system if i'm reusing it so these valves allow me to bypass that tank and not close the one-time valves preventing me from accessing that refrigerant again a good measure also might be to throw a couple of little quick acid tests before you throw your recovery machine on a piece of equipment. Those things aren't bulletproof, but they're, they're a good indication. And, you know, if you want and you have a bigger container, you can throw the more advanced, you know, Sporlin, you know, acid test kits if that's what you want to go with. And the only tool that I wasn't able to actually fit from my small case here into the bucket seat was my service wrench. So I can take the adapter out, throw that into the kit, and I can just assume that I'll probably have a service wrench in my tool bag anyway, so I'm just not gonna carry this in the kit itself. This carries enough of what I wanted to where it's not worth, not worth going back to this just so I can hold the service wrench. Last thing I forgot to throw in was the little yellow jacket gasket removal tool. Uh, it's got a cool little hook in here that comes out and it's a lot easier to dig out an o-ring than using say needle nose ply or something like that so i'll throw that in there along with the other extra hose gaskets and depressors and i think we've got ourselves a solid kit here and there you have it guys a pretty well stocked kit that's going to get you from start to finish on a recovery with minimal trips to the van a couple things i forgot to throw in there during the recording overhead was an extension cord so once you have the extension cord You've pretty much got everything in here except the recovery machine itself. Another thing I forgot to throw in was an extra filter dryer too. If you are filtering your recovery machine, which you should be, it doesn't hurt to throw one or two of these in there, especially if you suspect a burnout. And a quick mention from the last video with the evacuation series, I asked in the comments to suggest anything I may have forgotten. My good friend Neil Camparetto, make sure to check out his YouTube channel by the way, it's his name recommended a small travel size plastic bottle, maybe something like this, and fill it with denatured alcohol as a field solution to cleaning out a micron gauge if you suspect oil contamination. Great idea, wish I had thought of it for the video myself. And with that, all we have to do is add our lid. We've got our overflow holes for when we're using this as a subcooler receptacle, and it also holds every other tool we need for the recovery itself. Like I said, when you get done with the job, use the large pile of rags at the bottom to dry everything out, put all your stuff back in and get back to the van. So it's almost 1 a.m. right now and it's about eight hours since I filmed what you just watched. But I was thinking about it throughout the day and I wanted to remind you guys, I went ahead and I linked down below in the description pretty much everything that you saw in this video today as far as products. If you wanna look further into possibly picking them up for yourself, also in the links below, you'll find, you know, social media links if you want to follow me in any way as well as the link to the solder weld website where you can get 20 percent off with the ak hvac promo code speaking of solder weld remember guys we've got a big huge huge giveaway going through the end of march here go ahead to solder welds page again find that last video they put up and comment in the comment section Hashtag hot block the competition. You have the opportunity to win a Vito DRXL, the monster size drill bag I did the review on a few weeks ago, and it's gonna be filled to the brim with solder weld products. It's a huge giveaway. I'm excited about it. Make sure you guys don't miss out on this opportunity. As always, guys, if you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing, hit that button, hit the bell notification icon so that you get those alerts anytime I drop out new content. And let me know down in the comments if there's anything else you guys would have added to your own recovery bucket setup if you had the chance. Maybe anything I missed, it'd be a great contribution for guys scrolling down below for any ideas that I may have missed. And guys, with that, stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next one.